Now, we go to another PVD technique, that is, sputtering PVD. Sputtering deposition is a PVD method of depositing thin films by sputtering material from a target, then depositing it onto a substrate. Look at the schematic diagram here, sputtering is a mechanism by which atoms are dislodged from the surface of a material as a result of collision with high energy particles. Thus, PVD by sputtering is a term used to refer to a physical vapor deposition technique wherein atoms or molecules are ejected from a target material by high energy particle bombardment, so that the ejected atoms or molecules can condense on a substrate as a thin film. Sputtering has become one of the most widely used techniques for depositing various metallic films on wafers, including aluminum, aluminum alloys, platinum, gold, and tungsten. Sputter deposition is a PVD method of thin film deposition by sputtering. In detail, sputtering involves ejecting material from a target that is a source onto a substrate such as a silicon wafer. Resputtering is re-emission of the deposited material during the deposition process by ion or atom bombardment. Sputtered atoms ejected from the target have a wide energy distribution, typically up to tens of electron volt. The sputtered ions typically only a small fraction of the ejected particles are ionized on the order of 1%, can ballistically fly from the target in straight lines, and impact energetically on the substrates or vacuum chamber causing re-sputtering. Alternatively, at higher gas pressures, the ions collide with the gas atoms that act as a moderator, and move diffusively, reaching the substrates or vacuum chamber wall, and condensing after undergoing a random walk. The entire range from high-energy ballistic impact to low-energy thermalized motion is accessible by changing the background gas pressure. The sputtering gas is often an inert gas such as argon. For efficient momentum transfer, the atomic weight of the sputtering gas should be close to the atomic weight of the target, so for sputtering light elements neon is preferable, while for heavy elements krypton, or xenon, are used. Reactive gases can also be used to sputter compounds. The compound can be formed on the target surface, in flight, or on the substrate depending on the process parameters. The availability of many parameters that control sputter deposition make it a complex process, but also allow experts a large degree of control over the growth and microstructure of the film. There are four steps in sputtering it may be described as a sequence of these steps. First, ions are generated and directed at a target material. Second, the ions sputter atoms from the target. Third, the sputtered atoms get transported to the substrate through a region of reduced pressure. Fourth, the sputtered atoms condense on the substrate, forming a thin film. Now, let's take a look on video clips on the next slide. Plasma consists of argon atoms, positively charged argon ions, and free electrons. The positively charged argon ions are continuously generated by electrons hitting the argon atoms. The sputtering target is negatively charged. Therefore, the argon ions are attracted towards its surface. Let's see what happens. The argon ions collide with the target and eject molybdenum atoms from its surface. This is what the sputtering process is all about. In a way, it resembles a game of billiards, don't you think? Layer by layer, the ejected molybdenum atoms are deposited onto the glass substrate opposite the sputtering target. But let's go back to the target material. No metal can be made 100% pure. Iron or chromium impurities in molybdenum targets. Now, 
we will focus on variation of sputtering PVD. As mentioned earlier, sputtering PVD consists of ion beam sputtering, reactive sputtering, gas flow sputtering, high power impulse magnetron sputtering or high PIMS and high target utilization sputtering or high TUS. Ion beam sputtering or sometimes being referred as ion beam deposition or IBD, is a thin film deposition method that produces the highest quality films with excellent precision. Also referred to as ion beam sputtering or IBS, it's a process that's used when tight control over film thickness and stoichiometry is needed. So, how it works? Look at the schematic diagram here. During the ion beam deposition process, an ion source is used to sputter a target, and the sputtered material is deposited onto a substrate. The ions possess equal energy, making the process monoenergetic and highly collimated. In a typical configuration, an IBD or IBS system features the ion source, a target and a substrate. The ion beam focuses on a target material, and the sputtered material then deposits onto the substrate. The configuration may also include a second grid ion source to be directed at the substrate, to provide for ion-assisted deposition. In reactive sputtering, the sputtered particles undergo a chemical reaction before coating the substrate. The deposited film is therefore different from the target material. The chemical reaction that the particles undergo is with a reactive gas introduced into the sputtering chamber such as oxygen or nitrogen. Usually, oxide and nitride films are often fabricated using reactive sputtering. The composition of the film can be controlled by varying the relative pressures of the inert and reactive gases. Film stoichiometry is an important parameter for optimizing functional properties like the stress in silicon nitride or SINx and the index of refraction of silicon oxide, SIOx. High target utilization sputtering or high TUS. Sputtering may also be performed by remote generation of a high density plasma. The plasma is generated in a side chamber opening into the main process chamber, containing the target and the substrate to be coated. As the plasma is generated remotely, and not from the target itself as in conventional magnetron sputtering, the ion current to the target is independent of the voltage applied to the target. High Power Impulse Magnetron Sputtering or High PIMS Generally, High PIMS is a method for physical vapor deposition of thin films, which is based on magnetron sputter deposition. High PIMS utilizes extremely high power densities of the order of kW over centimeter square in short pulses or impulses of tens of microseconds at low duty cycle of which is less than 10%. Gas flow sputtering or GFS is a special physical vapor deposition method among the sputtering processes. Unlike familiar magnetron sputtering however, the plasma is produced by a hollow cathode glow discharge and the transport of material is carried by an intense flow of argon gas. The sputtering target, usually metallic, takes the shape of a hollow cathode, generally in the form of two rectangular plates arranged in parallel or a short tube, with argon flowing through it. Ions from the hollow cathode discharge evaporate the target and the flow of argon transports the material to the substrate, primarily in atomic form. The typical working pressure is 0.2 to 0.8 millibar. 